Of course, there's nothing in Minnie Pearl's life before she started painting that resembled this. What this is, what Minnie has actually done, and she was the first to do it, was taken the body paint that is absolutely ancient, up to 60,000 years old, body decoration used for ceremonial and other purposes. She's taken that, which was in the shape of her body or others' bodies, chest, breasts, arms, and to please the white people who bought the canvas and the paints along, Minnie has actually learned how to take all that ancient iconography and symbolism and to put it on a rectangular, very Western kind of shape in a way that not only records important information from the Aboriginal culture, but also pleases the white person, or pleases the art lover, as we like to call ourselves. Now, this is quite a significant thing, because like Emily, it's a way of bringing the three-dimensional real world onto a two-dimensional surface. And remember, the Aboriginals have no previous cultural introduction to this as we've done. We've, we've all been brought up with the idea of a two-dimensional representation. But look at how wild and wonderful this painting is. As someone once said, um, Minnie knew how to do painted breasts 3,000 different ways. And certainly the paintings in this exhibition do show a multiplicity of ways that the human breast painted can be represented. All different colours, shapes, some are dancing, some are still, some are crammed in together, like in this painting. There's no room to breathe. It's just absolutely full on. The colours are full on. The contrast is full on. She has pockets of these bush plants interspersed all over it. There's not a part of this painting that doesn't have something happening on it. It's a full on mini and it glows, it glows. Even in the evening you will put a light on this and it will glow in the dark. It's just a magnificent work. Happy work. It's very hard to choose in this exhibition which paintings, two or three paintings to talk about because they all have something indefinable, something special about them. But after talking about the last one, which was a riot of red, yellow and white, I chose this one, which tones down similar colours and has a completely different feel. The other one was crowded, jostling, wild. And this one has a much different feel, using the same iconography of the painted breasts, yet the movement through this painting is horizontal. There's a lovely flow through here. And what I really like is that the white lines go beyond the shape of the breast and they're like sentinels standing through the painting. And so you get this fantastic three-dimensional view where you're looking at the painting. It's going back and they're all standing like sentinels arranged. That's what I see in this abstract work. You'll probably see something different. But I think this is a most beautiful blend, a subtle blend of colour, form, line, surface design. It's a beautiful painting. Love it. So this is my third choice of a mini painting to show you. Totally different from the other body paint ones. This one just has straight lines in different colours. But what magnificent straight lines. They're powerful, they're assured, the colours are divine. It's just a very lovely work. In fact, it's actually two works which can be shown horizontally, which also is very attractive. But we hung them together because they make quite a nice dip ditch as well. Now here's the interesting thing my mother always said to me, blue and green should never be seen except on a donkey's back. And she looked very pointedly at me when she said that last bit, so I guess that says my mother. But look what she's done here. The colours are purple, red, blue, yes, they're all quite compatible. And then suddenly, lime green. Now only Minnie would do that. And it's perfect. It's just absolutely perfect. And the reason we coupled it with this other painting and hung them together is this does the same and then it's got this incredible phthalo green as well, which is also quite a bizarre colour. And we love the way that that painting and the phthalo green talks to the lime green up here and gives the magnificent effect overall. Go Minnie. <laughs>